All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing and salutation and hopeful they got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds <clears throat> in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful they the believers. The listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shema Shah? And what I want to get into, you know, real quick this afternoon, you know, is going to the mindset is men, all right, on a mission, okay? Men on a mission, okay? Because, you know, a lot of things happened over the weekend, and uh, one of the things, you know, brothers, you know, that's into the boxing world, okay, into the sport of boxing. <clears throat> pretty much what we just witnessed all right with this earl spinks and terence crawford's fight and i'm using this as an example in the spirit you know because a lot of spiritual points you know to be made you know from the sport of boxing you know because that's why even apostle paul you know he made a statement you know he is not one that beat the air okay which is which is he's not you know out here with no purpose you know he's not doing what he's doing for no purpose he has a purpose Okay, he Apostle Paul was a great example of a man on a mission. Okay, and what we seen, you know, with uh Terrence Crawford, all right, or you call him Bud. <laughs> okay, we seen a man that was on a mission, and you go into that pre fight interview, you know, and the uh reporter asked him, you know, what does you know, how does he feel about everything that's riding on the fight, you know, and he was extremely calm and he said i'm not thinking about that right now i'm just focused on the fight at hand you know he was worried he was he was concerned about the uh particular task that was right in front of him okay and that's the mindset we have to be in you know when it comes to the ministry that we have to be worried about the thing that's right in front of us and that's the day for day you know and that's why you had the spirit on the uh, elder apostle heart, you know, and the rest of the apostles to pretty much go into doing the video daily, you know, this weekend. You know, you had um, the elder brother from down here, the beloved brother Abaya, you know, he did a lesson, you know, going into the daily, you know, lessons, all right, that daily sacrifice. And the elder apostle Gabar, I just got through finish listening to his as I was walking, <clears throat> and he was going. You know, into the same thing as well. That daily sacrifice, man. Because why? We're men on the mission. You know? If, if you're someone that's on the mission, if you're on the journey, and you got to cover a lot of ground, well, that means you have to make progress every day, you know, to cover ground. If you're on a long journey, <laughs> you see? Like, we got to have the mindset of every day, you know, we should have, a, 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 a you know, achievements in the spirit, you know? Whether it's fasting, whether it's reading, you know, then you had the elder apostles, you know, went into even the diet, you know, like we got to be really men on a mission, you know, when it comes to this ministry, man. Okay. Like all the way around, we have to have a mindset as men on a mission. Okay. <laughs> you see, and see that, that daily mindset puts you in the tech mode and day for day. To where you're not, cause see, there's a lot of people that say they want, but really they don't want. They just wish, okay? Because if you say I want to lose weight, but you're not doing the things needed daily, okay? One thing about losing weight, if you take a day off, you can lose two or three days of what you done gain. You know, you can gain back two or three days worth of weight. You know, if you take a day off. <laughs> you see like one thing about it you know with this ministry we gotta keep that forward progress going man we gotta keep reaching forward as the apostle paul said he's pressing toward the mark now going back to the point you have a lot of people that say you know i want to lose weight you know but if you're not willing to do the daily sacrifice you just wish you can lose weight you don't really want it okay Cause there's a lot of people that say, I want to save money. Well, 
if you're not disciplined with the money that you have, you don't want to save money. You just wish you could save money. You see, there's a lot of people that just do a lot of wishful thinking, you know, and I'm a, a, a victim of that as well. You know, you, you say things and it's pr pretty much w wishful thinking. OK, but when somebody wants something, you're going to see results. <laughs> OK, if a brother say he wants to get deeper into the Hebrew, <laughs> he's putting that work in. You're going to see results. If a brother say he wants to get deeper into the breakdowns and that brother's putting that work in, you're going to see the results. If a, if a sister say, I want to be a wife, and she starts putting that work in, you know, putting the, the, the time in to <clears throat> increase her skills, you know, as a wife, you're going to see the results. You see, you can tell what people want by what they do. You see, you can, you can, you can say, you can, you can hear what they wish by what they say. But you can tell what somebody want by what they do. You know, there's a lot of people that don't have to express what they want because you see the action, you see results, you see the movement, you see their day for day. So that, that, that explains what they want in their daily action. That's explaining what they want. OK, <laughs> then you have those that wish and we don't want to be uh, uh, of those that wish, man. You know, and I say, uh. The elder apostle Gabar, you know, his latest, you know, um, the spirit he been in dealing with the health, you know, they really put a foot in my ass, you know, to really, you know, buckle down, you know, within that department of health, man. You know, because at, at the end of the day, we do these things for the ministry's sake, like being healthy, you know, creates more energy, which creates what more time for the truth, you know, more, more, more more capability within the truth even in our day to day as we you know hustle you know uh, uh get our daily bread you know do what we do we do that to free ourselves up for the truth you know everything that we should be doing should be geared towards the truth man you know it should route itself back to the truth in some type of way because this is all we got this is why we're here <laughs> you know we they, they would we're not here for nothing else man okay and the Lord is balanced to where he give us a little downtime. He give us time to chill, recover, recuperate, and get back to the grind, man. You know? But we got to move as men on a mission. And one thing about this weekend with this boxing event, you seen a man on a mission. Terrence Crawford was a great example of a man that was on a mission. Okay? He ain't had time to argue with them people on social media. He ain't had time... <laughs> say what he was going to do and all this. Nah, he was just locked in. And you seen in his eyes, man. You know, and the greatest example of that is Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's why at 12 years old, you know, he was he was about that business, man. <laughs> you see? And from then on now, he was always about that business. Okay? Daily he was teaching because he was about that business, man. He was a man on the mission. He didn't deal with women. He was on that mission, man. Okay? No one wanted the kingdom more than Yahushai, and it showed in his actions, man. Yahushai's actions showed that he wanted the kingdom more than all of us put together, man. Okay? <laughs> he was a man on a mission. That's why when, he, you know, when he asked, you know, the flesh kicked in, and he asked for another way, okay? And he didn't get no response. He had, he, he, because he knew what the mission was, man. So he just, he just went back in and he just tapped back in. That's why he got quiet after that, man. When the Most High got quiet with him, how was I got quiet with everybody else? You know, that's why he was only saying the pilot what thou sayest. <laughs> you know, he didn't have a lot to say because he was about the mission, man. Okay, because at the end of the day, <clears throat> and I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, when it comes to the feeding the flesh or doing something for the flesh, okay. We Usain Bolt Sprint. Everybody, you know, when it comes to the flesh, we 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 we, you, we have Usain Bolt energy, man. Okay, coming around that corner on two hundred. Okay, you see, but when it comes to responsibility and duty, you know, we tend to drag our feet, you know, and that's what discipline kick in, man. Okay, and then when you start seeing results in anything that you do, you know, when you start seeing increase. And the benefits and the perks that come with the discipline, with the consistency, okay, with the sacrifice, then 
you had that same energy that you used to have towards pleasing the flesh, towards being disciplined, man. Okay? Towards 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 duty and responsibility, man. You know? And this is our number one responsibility in the planet Earth is this ministry, man. Okay, following in the footsteps of Yahushai, the author and finisher of our faith. Okay? So that's the point. <clears throat> I just want to put that out there. You know, Lord will, you brothers. And you few sisters edified to the next time I say Shalom. Call him Yashallah. Bob or Bob. DTA soon. Shalom.